Hi everyone, Aaron Day here from Vancouver, British Columbia. Welcome to Silicon Palms. My backup channel is now being called to service. A 107 hit a nerve like nothing I've ever done before. And now I've been called to service as uh, I've been asked and the comments are so overwhelming. Your love, your support and encouragement. I don't even know what to say except I I'm at your service. Hence the fedora, by the way. Well, uh, this video, if you're suffering from TDS, like so many people are, severe Trump derangement syndrome, you're going to want to miss this video because I'm going to sing the praises of Melania Trump. And uh, I'm going to share some uh, ideas and some info that, for whatever reason, no one else has dawned on. But uh, first, I have a little house cleaning to do, in the words of Joseph P. Farrell. First of all, the Angel Moroni in Salt Lake City. I accidentally, or I don't know if it was accidentally, compulsively deleted a comment from a follower and a woman in Salt Lake City. And forgive me my trespass, I disrespected you. She made note that I had confused the Moroni story. and. Um, I also got a comment from Man of Truth, which I'm thrilled about, and I'm going to put his channel down below. Man of Truth is an amazing guy, very, very intelligent. I want you to look at, and he's talking a lot about 107 as well, so I want you to look at his channel, and we're going to ask him to research that my last name, D-A-Y, is written on the tabernacle. I know my family helped to put that angel that dropped its trumpet, Naughty Beaver explained all of this stuff and it was a trigger moment that Nostradamus described. So Nostradamus knew that the angel would drop its trumpet and that was the sign that put me in the game that I now find myself in, which is a war and this is for all the marbles. We are winning, we are going to win but we have three and a half more years and we're not even to the major shitstorm yet. Uh, but I don't want to cloud that uh, any of the future or, or prophecy with what I have to tell you today. Uh, this was sort of downloaded me last night in my forest bathing session, which I do and I've come to the realization that what I'm doing is I'm reaching peak prana takes 45 minutes sometimes cleaning out my nose and all the breathing. I had an incredible yoga teacher in Brazil named Drika and she was just took my, I was there for three or four years and she brought me to another level with uh, the breathing visualization using chanting and um, Trump's news conference today. Whoa. People had to change their pants after that news conference. Um, so great. So back on to track here is uh, the Angel Moroni was a prophet warrior. He was the last to write on the golden plates. After he, de after he died, he became an angel. And Joseph Smith and three other witnesses, they saw this Angel Moroni in a vision in 1829. It, didn't, it wasn't written about until 1838. Well, my uh, ancestors were there at that time and uh, they left, my great grandfather left Salt Lake City when the uh, polygamy was banned. So there must have been a massive turnover or some angst like we're suffering here on our planet for him to go all the way from there to here. Uh, so he arrived here in 1888. He would have been 19 years old and um, he became a, a maven in logging and um, my family are a few hours from here uh, we're the largest landowners and, and um, pioneers basically with large farms and a, and a fairly major Chinese influence in our major town to help get our agriculture started here in Western Canada so um, I want to jump straight into this though the Melania information that I want to share with you and first, though, uh, the tenant that comes from A Course in Miracles is that there are two plans. There's your plan and there is God's plan. 
Now if you quieten your mind enough and you can get yourself into that deep prana state, uh, some people call it runner's high, but it comes from breathing and quietening your mind. You need to get into a theta state of mind. And once you do, you can listen to what God's plan is. And I had planned to do another Juan O'Savin or a Kid by the Side of the Road video today, and my plan got changed. In a download last night, I was told to tell you how incredible, magnificent Melania Trump is and explain what is a coup de grace. Now the word actually is coupe de grace and a cup of grace. And what it means is it means putting a death kill on a, a suffering or a wounded uh, animal or person. And a coup de grace, I want to tell you, Melania Grump, Trump, Melania Trump has performed two, a double coup de grace, and maybe even a third, and she's done it quietly and silently. It's almost in like in magic when, well, you know, one, you're looking at one hand, but it's the other hand that's doing the trick. And here's what it is, is that, first of all, she's done this Lady Diana thing, which is nearly impossible, but you would, couldn't, if you searched a million candidates, you would never find uh, a better qualified woman to do this Princess Diana trick that she's done. And if you look at when her and her husband took over the office of the White House, they came in to a completely politicized, weaponized system where there had been Arkansas happening for the prior three decades to put holdovers in place that were buried within every agency of a bloated, bloated government. So to assume that um, an agency that would be in the human services wouldn't have political holdouts and placements, it's wrong. Um, and quite possibly, these were the most uh, corrupt agencies, the one that she took over. And so this all happened without anyone being aware. But imagine this. Consider if the mercy and the comfort were filled with children. Or look at the Department of Justice website and read about the pedophile rings being busted. And imagine how many children there are now that have come into government custody uh, and the damage to the psychology of these people. Uh, so possibly the largest project that's been going on that no one's heard a single word about is to create the infrastructure to help the, I'm going to say millions of children who don't have a family. So she uh, stepped into a very difficult role, a very, very difficult role. And she did it with such amazing style and grace that I believe she was able to win over any detractors and even people who were buried. And anyone else would have been fired because when, when we say we have it all, I, I wonder if you don't understand what, what part of that you don't understand, but we mean. We have it all. So the other thing that I wanted to mention was um, she started a program for substance abuse prevention for children. How genius. That is freaking amazing. Another huge, huge problem. But so here's where the coup de grace is. She uses fashion as a weapon. And people are so daft, they don't realize that when she wore the coat with uh, who cares about children written on the back. Wow, people are so brain dead. That was a shot across the bow that saved children's lives like you have no idea. And there's the coup de grace because the following day after she wore that, one of the biggest mavens in the um, garment industry stepped down, a billionaire. And I'm not going to mention any other names because that's what will cause this channel to be uh, shut off. So you have to go look it up yourself. But a whole series of dominoes happen. And what's hilarious is every time she goes into public, her clothing is a statement. 
whether it be a white hat or a picture of Andrina Chrome on her shirt or the color green uh, when it was appropriate. But especially that coat was such a brave thing and people are so daft to think that that was an insult to anyone when in fact it was a very courageous shot directly at the head of the snake and it caused a pillar in the in the industry to step down the following day and a series of dominoes uh, has stopped uh, hasn't stopped uh, falling in the fashion industry understand the message in her clothing and the media doesn't tell you about it but believe me she doesn't care about the media and this woman is so tough to you have, you are totally underestimating her if you don't think that she is so world smart street savvy she is so tough you couldn't have had a better person to step into that role of uh, head of the foster care of children and she's done it with such great style and, and nice and quietly so that in itself is a coup de gras so here's your coup de gras is she ended child labor practices in the garment factory by telling the top dog we're coming for you and he heard and he stepped down and those children are no longer working in his factories that was huge then while everyone's focused on her husband she took on the role of the foster care program which was so broken obviously and nowhere near prepared for the influx of children that it's already being and they and again it's not reported and very quietly going on uh, but the records just in Virginia of the and we knew this the amount of children in Virginia so Melania Trump is a godsend and uh, I, I cannot uh, sing her praises loud enough and I was instructed to make this video to make people aware of what is a coup de gras and that she has performed a double coup de gras and continues to provide a service that's invaluable to the planet by helping the children but more importantly than that is all of these agencies had issues that had to be solved and in some cases they went in and used a hammer in other cases they let people out themselves in other cases they had to see who was corrupt but in this case they used the I call it the Princess Diana tactic which is win them over with love and with absolute authority of power that nothing is going to stand in that woman's way of achieving the objective of making sure that no child is left behind and this time actually meaning that phrase and uh, my hat is off to Melania Trump God bless you and God bless America I'm gonna keep doing these and I'm gonna get back on to 107 I'm learning a lot from Quan Galt about the uh, Nessera and I'm going to share that on the Invest Off Tour so I'm going to split these channels uh, and on this channel I'm going to invite a discussion about Kid by the Side of the Road. It's the emo most important tool that we have right now to open minds and win hearts. So people, this is real serious. We don't have a lot of time and it's time that we step it up and and make make the changes happen that we need to see on our world uh, I really really appreciate everyone who's behind my efforts here and encouraging me I I'm gonna do my best to to be your brother's brother thank you very much for watching